we've got an extra good looking 1955 Chevrolet 3100 pick em up truck. It has a few tricks up its sleeve. It has a six cylinder with some performance upgrades, some dual carbs and headers. Mechanic told me this thing flies for a six cylinder. And you wouldn't expect it, but it has vintage heat and air conditioning as well. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information, study the pictures. And that's where you find a price tag on every car, including a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Just a nice solid truck underneath the frame, the floors, the components all look good. Uh, it does have a new dual exhaust system. It's stainless steel. It's all welded, custom dual exhaust. Uh, it does look like the steering dampener up front is new. The shocks look recent. Uh, there's been work done on, <coughs> on the brakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Work done on the brakes, new e-brake cables. Uh, the rear end cover has been off and some seals were put in. So it's been serviced underneath. Matter of fact, there's about $12,000 in receipts for work that was done in the last year or two. Now the body, it's all metal. Fenders, cab, all of it is metal. And not a fiberglass uh, fenders or anything like that. And it's sharp looking, painted up in black. But anyway, let's see how good it is. It presents itself really well. It's not, you know, incredible like right here. Um, paint looks like it might be starting to lift right there a little bit. But the fender is all straight and solid, all clean and solid. No rust down here. The cab corner is real nice. Down underneath here, it's all clean and smooth. Lines up nicely. So the body's looking very good. Front fender is straight. The hood is straight. All fits real well, has the opening cowl. Uh, yes, body's looking great, all real nice. Don't see any issues with the body. Now the paint, I mean, again, it shows really well. I can see my beautiful reflection right here in the door, but there's imperfections, a little, little bubble right there, a little bubble here in the corner, a little texture in places, a little nick touched up. Uh, so the paint has imperfections, uh, nothing significant. It's, I'd call it very good, but it's really dressed up. It has the nice dual hand pinstripe. It also has some fancy pinstripe up on the front. Uh, we've got uh, the wood stake sides that dresses it up. And back here we have the original style tail lights. We have chrome bumper. You got the red lettering and the hand pinstripe. So new covers over the chains and the tailgate. So it's done up like a deluxe. You got the chrome bumpers. You had the chrome trim around the door windows and the windshield. Oh, not the windshield, just the door windows. You got some visors. Original door handles are pitted. The stems for the mirrors are pitted. This 3100 Chevrolet looks new. Uh, it has aluminum step plate on the running board. Parts are available. If you want to change door handles or add some things, it's all available for these trucks. Like these wheels, they're brand new, powder coated, new trim, and those are Coker Classic white wall tires. Those are all within the last year or two. Uh, new headlights with the little eyebrows. And again, I was saying the Deluxe comes with the chrome. Uh, standard would have painted uh, grill. This is all chrome, the bumper, emblem, has a chrome molding going down the center. There's that pinstripe I talked about. Okay, so that gives you an idea what the outside looks like. Let's open it up, see what the inside looks like. Something about these old tailgates with the chain, just the sound they make. Uh, very nostalgic for me anyway. Uh, so inside the bed, you know, this is a bed that you can use. It's all solid and straight, but it's a little nicked and scuffed. Uh, you can use this. The wood planks are real solid, but the finish is a little bit off. They did put a couple hooks in the middle there for tying things down. And then the box is clean, straight metal. So very respectable, but it's been used a little bit.
Now we got some custom made door panels. They look real nice. The weather strips around the doors were replaced. The metal dash has been repainted. I have some really nice looking uh, gauges. They look like the original or similar, but it's a modern gauges and speedometer. They're actually electronic, um, but look, look original. It's a 12 volt conversion. So we have electric wipers. You got a little bit of that pinstripe going on. Here's the AC uh, duct work and switches neatly installed. Down on the floor, we got a rubber mat. It's a four speed, a four speed shifter. You got a hot rod tachometer. They've added turn signals, a uh, new reproduction steering wheel. And I'm sitting on a leather bucket seat right now. There's power on both sides. Inside the center console is a stereo. There's some speakers behind the seat. It does have a working interior light. It does have the uh, cardboard headliner. It's missing the one visor. Trucks a lot of times only came with one and that is missing. This is the deluxe mirror. So very good inside, kind of like the rest of the truck. It's not pristine, but it's very good. Now the engine, the mechanic was really excited and surprised when he told me about this car. That six cylinder really ran uh, it was quick, it was fast. That's uh, what he said. So it is a two, I think it's a two, oh, I don't know, 230 or 265 uh, straight six cylinder. It has a Clifford uh, intake, all new, uh, with two new uh, dual uh, carburetors here and uh, red line uh, regulator. It's dressed up with a nice finned aluminum valve cover and also the side covers. Has a new coil, new plug wires, and it's a vintage air heat and AC system. So all that's been updated. And then the engine's going to run cool with this nice big aluminum radiator that was put in. It has new modern push-in fuses. It's all part of the 12 volt upgrade. And one more item down here. It does have a chrome one wire alternator. So changing to 12 volt, that really, uh, that's a game changer as far as driving this. You get, uh, you put a stereo, you can get turn signals and electric wipers and Take for granted the turn signals, electric wipers, obviously the air conditioning is a big plus. And it's even got a bullhorn. <laughs> America loves their pickup trucks. And this is a really good looking truck uh, with some nice features. Right, turn the key off and make it very drivable, user friendly. So, if you like it, go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman, they'll help answer your questions. Uh, they can help you finance this truck, they can help get it delivered to your door at volocars.com. Don't, <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon so you're notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.